Hey everyone, this is Hans Carl for Tech Boys, and today I'm gonna have a tutorial on how you can make a, an advanced text editor in Visual Basic 2008 and 10. I'm using 2010 Express Visual Basic. Uh, so, we're gonna start with making a Windows Forms application in a new project. I'm gonna name it Advanced Text Editor. I'm just gonna hit enter, and that's the project. Uh, it might take a little time for it to load. So, so I'm gonna just uh, stretch it a little. I'm just gonna go to the toolbox and bring in a mini strip. And I'm also gonna bring going to bring a rich text box. So I have the rich text box here. I'm just gonna click on this little arrow and click on dark and pairing container. It's gonna go to the menu strip and I'm gonna type file new save open exit. I'm just gonna go to the one next to it and I'm gonna type edit undo redo. I'm gonna add a separator here and I'm gonna type in cut copy paste then I'm gonna type clear and select all I'm gonna move next to the one next to the edit one I'm gonna type format I'm just gonna make it font color and uh, font style yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna click on File and double click on New. Now I'm gonna type Rich Text Box One Dot Clear. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna double click on Save and I'm gonna type Try. It's gonna bring in the catch access ex exception. Third type Try. I'm gonna type Dim dialog as save file dialog equals to new save file dialog I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna find dialog.title equals to codes save file code close I'm gonna go and type dialog.filter equals to Rich text file, or you can say RTF. I'm gonna bring in the filters, asterisk.rtf, and I'm gonna close the codes. Then, after declaring the filter, I'm gonna put an if statement. Say if dialog dot show dialog equals to equals to system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot ok then I'm gonna bring rich text box one dot save file dialog dot file name comma Rich text box stream type dot rich text and close the parenthesis and hit enter and the if statement closes here. I'm just gonna bring the end try here. I'm gonna put a colon in it. Yep. Now I'm gonna go to the open. Those we can open. I'm just gonna copy this whole save command and I'm gonna just replace a few things instead of say I'm gonna type open in the dim statement I'm just gonna open the open file dialog instead of the save file dialog then I'm gonna make which text box one dot load file 
I'm gonna remove everything that is after this comma, including the comma. So that's it for this command. I'm gonna type double click on exit, yeah. And this is the shortest code in this project, I guess. That is N. That's it. I'm gonna click on edit menu, double click on undo. I'm gonna type rich text box one dot undo and enter that's it. Double click on redo which text box one dot redo. That's it. Double click on cut which text box one dot cut. Double click on copy rich text box one dot copy. Double click on paste rich text box one dot paste. Double click on clear rich text box one dot clear. Double click on select all rich text box one dot select all. Now in the format menu, I'm double click, double clicking on the one color, and uh, uh, I'm just gonna copy the code in the open file dialog that I can see here. I'm just gonna use this all. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna, gonna copy the open file dialog thing here, and I'm gonna make a dim dialog is color dialog and here also I'm gonna make it color dialog and there's no need for a dialog title as such but we need dialog dot color and we're gonna make it rich text box one dot for color Then we have we have to remove this filter because we obviously don't have file dialog. So then in the if found dialog, that's fine. I'm just gonna make it color for color. I'm sorry. And uh, I'm gonna make it as dlg dot color equals to dlg dot equals to dialog dot color. Yep, that's fine. Now I'm gonna double click on the font style and I'm gonna copy the above code in the out of color dialog and paste it here. I'm gonna make it font dialog. Now we have dialog that font. Here I'm gonna put font show dialog. That's fine. I'm put in font dialog dot font. That's it. This is the code. I'm gonna put it on the downloads and resources section of the website. So don't worry about that. As soon as we get that, I'm gonna debug this. Okay, now here it is. I'm just, yeah. Now I'm gonna type in Tech Boys tutorial. I'm gonna just make it as save, and that should bring the save file dialog. On the desktop, I'm gonna place it. New or RTF. I'm gonna save it. Now I'm gonna put it new. And then I'm gonna open and I'm just gonna go into open the new down RTF. Yep, that's fine. I'm gonna edit. I'm just gonna type just like YouTube, Facebook. I'm just gonna edit. I'm gonna click on undo. And then I'm gonna click on redo. I'm gonna 
going to click on cut and just place in it here. I'm sorry I did control V and I'm gonna put paste yes and I'm gonna put copy and I can enter and come down paste it here yeah. just select all it doesn't work actually I'm just gonna again open that file and I'm gonna click on format font color you can have this here yeah. Make it blue. You see this font style. Yes, I have it here. I'm gonna make it medium, semi bold. It does what I should. Yeah, it does. So, so I'm just gonna test the exit button as well. So that works fine. So that ends this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe on us on YouTube and like our page on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Live Tech.